All right. So we're looking at our uh, at entering into our truck position. So most basic entry uh, we're going to work with. Uh, basically, the two basic entries we're going to do today. Uh, our entry is based on the turtle position, so where he's turtle up, or on the back mount position. So when you're in back mount but cannot get the choke because he's defending well, or maybe he's defending one of your hooks. So different scenarios there. Uh, but we will looking, uh, be looking at uh, entries uh, from those positions. Especially as a beginner, if you're still unfamiliar with the position, uh, this is the best way to, to learn to navigate that whole stuff. There's different entries as well, you can roll into it, you can go into it from half guard, there's different things we can do. But for now, let's focus on the most common ones and uh, uh, basically the easiest ones to learn. All right, so, <coughs> first, we will be looking at the same entry we did in the introduction video, which is the entry with the hook. And this can happen in a multitude of ways. Uh, maybe we just took our opponent down and there's some space here and we can grab the foot and boom! And we're into our position right here. Now maybe he's turtling out of your back mount. There's different ways we can get into this position. We will not get into that, but from here we can start going into the truck. So, what we will do. As soon as I have this position in, he needs to worry about his back being taken. So what he's going to do is going to make sure he's going to be very tight here. Uh, if he's not, if he's just posting forward here, we can easily bring in the secondary hook and start working there. Uh, or we can start grabbing the hands, maybe pulling him to the side. There's options there. Uh, so now he's defending a little bit better. So instead of trying to get into uh, wrist control positions or the far hook, we're going to grab the far leg. So from here, just grab his shin, just above the foot, not too high towards the knee. There should always be a little crooked here where you can slide your hand into and grab his shin properly. Now, if I'm just going to try to fall backwards, it's all my weight against his weight. It will be difficult, especially if he's uh, uh, not cooperating, especially if he uses this hand to post out a little bit. Yeah? So, instead I'm going to use my legs. So I'm going to put my leg in and I'm going to launch myself towards the side. Now, this gives me a nice entry. As we saw in the introduction video, his hips are above my hips. So I have a good position here. I'm going to bring in the secondary leg for help, lock down on the leg, grab his, uh, his shin right here. And from here we can start working. That's so important with these, uh, with these entries that we get enough force to actually uh, force him to roll over. If you're just going to hang on him, it's not going to work properly. So you really need to put that foot onto the floor and pull him backwards yeah, to get enough force. Okay, so we'll show you a couple of angles. So from here, we get into a position where we have our hook in, we grab the shin, push, boom, switch our legs, and take control. As you saw me searching a little bit, this will happen often, depending on the position of his leg, but from here we have the control. Okay? Thank you. 